YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the song uh, Georgie Porgy by, uh, by Toto. Uh, this is a smooth jazz song uh, that, that was one of their uh, uh, great sort of smooth jazz dance tunes. Uh, has a lot of great jazz chords in it and I think you'll have a lot of fun with this one. I've seen some uh, uh, some players uh, really go to town on this song. And uh, as before, I'm going to play a little snippet of the song, and then I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you. So let's go ahead and get started. It's not your situation. I just need contemplation over you. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about how to play this great tune. Um, first of all, first of all, the uh, the guitar itself is in standard tuning, so no real issues there. Now we're gonna have a real good uh, smooth jazz vibe for this song, so uh, got to be able to get that little strumming down uh, the way that Toto does this, and it's it's really a sort of a, a syncopated strumming, so it's you're almost doing a percussive beat, so it's. And that's how you sort of get this percussive. And let me just do it with muted. So, okay, the uh, song opens up on an E minor seventh. Uh, now, the E minor seventh uh, is played up here in the um, uh, the seventh fret, and it's made by putting your first finger on the fifth fret uh, or the seventh fret of the fifth string, and then just lay it across. Uh, all the way down to the, the high E. Then you put your middle finger on the 8th fret of the B string, and then your ring finger on the ninth fret of the D string. And you're just getting the E minor 7th sound, and you're just going to open up with that chord. Okay, the next chord in the intro, and this is also the, the bridge, the Georgie Porgy section of the song, um, all these chords are that. It opens up sort of on that bridge. The second chord is a C-sharp augmented seventh. Now a C-sharp augmented seventh is made here on the third fret. You put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the A string. You put your first finger on the third fret of the D string and your ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string. And then you lay your your uh, little finger on the fifth fret of the uh, B string and the high E string. And you're not going to play the low E, you're going to play the high E. So you're getting that augmented seventh sound. So it's, it's a C sharp augmented seventh. Now the next chord on this, and this is where it starts to get a little bit weird, uh, is called an E minor 11th with an F sharp bass, okay? It's, it sounds a lot scarier than it is. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you how to do this. The way you do this is you're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the D string, and you're just going to lay it across all the strings uh, that are higher than it. Then you take your ring finger and you put it on the third fret of the G string, and then you lay it across all the strings. You lay it across the G, the B, and the high E. Then you take your thumb and you hook it over and you want to get the F sharp, which is the second fret of the low E string. So it's kind of a weird sounding chord, but you got to keep that shape because the next chord 
the fourth quarter, the intro and end of the bridge, you basically just take that shape and you're just gonna slide it up to the seventh fret. And that is a, a, a B augmented seventh add C. So let's let's listen to how that all sounds together. I'll do it I'll do it real time, and then what I'll do is I'll slow down. So it's it's E minor seventh, then you're gonna go to a C sharp augmented seventh, then you're gonna go to an E minor eleventh with an F sharp bass, and then you're gonna go up here to a B augmented seventh with an with add add C. So let me just go ahead and play that. So it sounds like this. <laughs> So you just four chords. So it starts out on an E minor seventh. Then it's gonna to go to the C sharp augmented seventh. Then it's gonna to go to the E minor 11th with an F sharp bass. And then it's gonna slide back up to a B augmented seventh with an add C. Okay, and you'll recognize that because that's, that's the same chord sequence that's used during the Georgie Porgy stop part of the song where it does the stops and all that. So I'll explain that in a little bit. Okay, once you do that uh, uh, three times, I've heard it played three times, and I think in the, in the original record, it really starts out on the verse, but I like to start out on the, on the, that with that as the intro. The first chord of the verse is a C major seventh. Now the C major seventh is made by putting your first finger on the third fret of the A string, your second, uh, or your middle finger on the fourth fret of the uh, G string, your ring finger on the fifth fret of the uh, D string, and your little finger on the fifth fret of the B string. And you're just playing the middle four strings. That's the, uh, that's the third position uh, C major seven. I guess you could do it here too, the, the first position C major seven, but I think it sounds better. And you're just playing the middle, uh, middle four strings, so it's C major seventh, easy chord. Then it's gonna to go to a D sixth. Now a D sixth is made by putting your middle finger on the second fret of the G string and your uh, ring finger on the second fret of the high E string and you're just playing from the D string, which is the fourth string, down. So you just... So a D sixth. And then you're gonna to go to uh, uh, a little great sequence of two chords. Uh, this is an E minor ninth, uh, uh, no fifth, and this is made by putting your uh, your first finger on the um, fifth fret of the D string, and then you put your uh, middle finger on the seventh fret of the uh, A string, your ring finger on the seventh fret of the G string, and your little finger on the seventh fret of the B string. And you're just playing the middle four strings, now you, you want to be, be strumming the high E too, so you want to make sure you catch that. And the reason I say that is because the next chord is an E minor 7th, and an E minor 7th is made by simply picking up your pinky finger. There's a subtle difference between those two chords, but it really rings out when you play this song, and I'll show you that in a second. So that's the way the chords are in the first two lines of the verse. So let me go ahead and play that kind of uh, slowly at first. So C major seventh to a D sixth to an E minor ninth, no fifth to an E minor seventh. Okay, so at full speed, it's like this. So let me go ahead and play it for you. It's not your situation. I just need contemplation over you. And you, you'll notice that you bounce on that last, uh, those last two chords. So you're going from the E minor ninth, no fifth. Okay, you gotta kind of listen to the record to really get that vibe. The second line is exactly the same, uh, C major 7th, uh, D 6th, E minor ninth, no 5th, to an E minor 7th. Okay, the next, 
The chorus starts on a C major seventh. I'm not the only one who holds you. Okay, same as you did before. Then you're gonna go to an A minor seventh in the uh, fifth fret. You do that by laying your first finger across all the strings uh, uh, starting on the, the, low, uh, the low E. Then you put your ring finger on the seventh fret of the A string. Just the standard A minor seventh in the fifth position. Okay, then you're gonna to go to a uh, to what we what the chord we played before, which is the B augmented seventh add C on the seventh fret here. And you again you're just gonna lay your first finger down from the D string, seventh fret all the way down, and then you just catch with your uh, ring finger is the way I play it, your uh, from the uh, eighth fret G string all the way down, and then you use your thumb to hook the uh, seventh fret of the low E. Okay. And then that that resolves to a, a B B seventh, which is made on the seventh fret of the uh, uh, of the keyboard. And the way you do that is you just lay your finger across all the strings uh, on the seventh fret, first finger, and then you put your uh, ring finger on the um, ninth fret of the A string, and then you put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the uh, G string. So the way that sounds resolved is a little subtle difference there. Okay, and let's let me just go ahead and play that for you, and that, that way you can hear how that sounds. So it's not the only one who holds you. Never should have told you. You're my only girl. Resolving C major 7th, A minor 7th, the augmented 7th, B 7th. And you got to get that little scrapey, uh, almost palm muting type of, of strumming going. So it's. If you listen to the way some of the jazz players play it, they do add the little palm muting, sort of jazzy. Now, I have a little bit of delay on here, but I've heard it played with flange too, so that might help you if you're gonna play it. So anyway, uh, once you do that, uh, the, the bridge itself, and that's where you get into the Georgie Porgie part. And that's again, just playing the, uh, um, the chords that I showed you in the intro. So it's basically E minor seventh in the seventh position. And then you're going to go to the C sharp augmented seventh, E minor eleventh with an F uh, sharp bass, B augmented seventh add C. So the sequence of the song is the intro, which is essentially the bridge, uh, with the E minor seventh. You're starting out. over you. And this is the verse. I'm not so systematic. It's just that I'm an addict for your love. Chorus, C major 7th, A minor 7th, B augmented 7th, B 7th. Then you're going to finish the chorus then you go back to the verse again. Uh, C major seventh, D sixth, E minor ninth, no, si uh, no fifth, E minor seventh. And then what you're gonna do is then go back to the uh, Georgie Porgy part. And this is where a lot of the lead comes in. There's some vamping, there's, a, there's sort of a drum stop. And the drum stop is made by basically, uh, see, let me just play the line first and then I'll do the drum stop uh, syncopation. So it's. Georgie pudding pie Kissed the girls and made them cry Georgie Porgie pudding pie Kissed the girls and made them cry And it's just a stop And then it goes back to the verse real quick There's cool lead 
then you're going to play another verse. You're going to play the chorus again. And then the outro is essentially just staying on the Georgie Porgy line. And I've heard it in just like this. like that but there's a whole lot of vamping that can go on on any one of those sequences especially the uh, the uh, the Georgie Porgy line so well hopefully uh, that'll help you unravel this song Georgie Porgy by uh, Toto this is a smooth jazz uh, song it's got a lot of uh, fairly tough uh, uh, chords in it but it does have a syncopated rhythm that's great if you have a drummer and if you have a lead uh, guy who can play maybe slide guitar, I think that's what it was done on with a bottle, uh, bottleneck on it. Uh, this is a great tune for you. So uh, uh, as always, if you have any questions about this or any of my other videos, go ahead and leave me a question or a comment at my YouTube channel. And as always, have a great day and we'll catch you later.